trip, straightened it, got out of his way. The other thing this does, this is a drill I saw John doing with the kids before, and it's a great, great regard drill, is it doesn't let him put his feet on me. When he's got his feet on me, he can use me to move his hips, right? And start looking for things to attack. Yep, grips, inverting, right? I can break his little toe, whatever it might be. So by straightening out, he can't put his feet on me yet right now. It's like I always yell at you guys. If you don't have a foot on the ground, you can't move. So he really can't twist very easily. And the more he does, the more it gets him off angle, right? Because I'm his sole uh, lever point, I guess. Fulcrum. There we go. I know I come up with it eventually. I like science. All right. So I stretch him out. Walk. Walk. I'm going to switch that grip and climb it under. As I turn him, this time, instead of hooking that arm bar, I'm just going to grab that wrist that fell across his face. Okay? My opposite hand goes right in between his face and my arm. I got my nice Kimura grip here. All right? Yep, no thumbs. Monkey, monkey grips. All right? Simian grips? I don't know. I kind of feel monkey grips doesn't seem appropriate. What are you going to do? Okay? And then I can take his back. So whichever back take you want, I prefer sitting him up because I've always got that option to hook the far arm, right? Some people just want to pillow top and sit him up into your lap. That's fine as long as you switch the arms. If you go over to the other side, or if we fall to the same side, then it's fine as long as I get that bottom hook, okay? So for the purposes of the drill, and since we have some newer people, we're going to get to this point. Instead of hooking his arm over the top, we hook under the head, grip both of our wrists, and now I'm just going to use that arm and I'm going to sit him up on his butt. Whoop. We'll just stop right here. All right, my forearm is the bar on the side of his head to help lift him up. We'll stop right here. Cool? At any point, I can lay him right back down. Whoop. And I'm still in a good position. I've still got my arm bar. Lots of options. Or all three of the submissions we did at the beginning of the class. Questions? One more time, please. You want to watch it? Block, boom. Going in. Turn it. Use that underhook to turn him. I can pass his hand across if I need to. I just want to make sure I keep my weight on his shoulder. If I keep, create space here, he's going to pull that arm back in. Now i got to deal with all this. Okay? So I'm keeping that, keep using my chest to keep that arm away. Grab the wrist. Opposite arm threads in the middle. Okay? Now I just pull. I can even switch my legs and really get some weight. I just got to be ready for him to explode into me. If he does, that's fine. I move myself. My weight's back on my, on my knees. thing you got to be careful of here is him driving back into me. All right? I got to be ready to fold my legs underneath. I never want to get caught yet right here. Okay? The knees pop, meniscus is tear. I've done the research. Okay? I always want to be ready. I want my butt away from my heels so I'm always ready to fold if I need to. Cool? And I can just lay him back down if I need to. Got it? One, two, three.